he wants him out. He is tired of pretending. God wants him out. He is tired of pretending. Hello everyone, it's Ishmael N. And I welcome you to the Gospel with Ishmael. I know you might have gotten my attention when I said God is tired of pretending. What I'm trying to say is this. Ask yourself this question. When Saul, King Saul for that matter, was dethroned, or let me put it like when he was rejected, and the Lord anointed David to be the next king of Israel, he was, remember, David was anointed while still a teenager, before even he conquered Goliath. So, but then, all that time, the Bible says, David became a king at the age of 30. That's when he started to, rule, to reign over Israel. So, let's check how long it took. But then, already God had rejected Saul. But the very same year, Saul continued to be a king. The second year, third year, third, like it took years. You see the things of the Lord. All along, the man was being praised, hey king, but God had rejected him. Almost like a minister that is ministering, preaching, people are attending, but God says, I've rejected you. You see, like, try to think what I'm saying. But then now, let's go to the point where you're trying to get when I get what I mean, right? Let's talk about pretending. When the Lord finally killed or got King Saul killed in a battle, what does that mean to you? While all along he was not dying, but finally a day came and it was like, you're going to, you and your whole entire household, you're going to die in that battle. And they died. You see, you can almost look at it like God was done pretending. All along, yes, he said, I rejected you, but still, the man was still king. Almost like somebody saying, deep down, they don't like you, but they still walk with you. They still do things with you, but deep down, they don't like you. But finally, when they snap, you, your friendships breaks off. They delete your contacts. They block you. They are, they are done pretending unto you. It is the same thing. That's why I'm saying it might not be pretending, but pretending, but the fact that now he says time up, there's no more pretending. All along, it means when Saul was still king, it was God pretending. Let me tell you that people who are going to offend you and they seem like they're getting away with it. God is doing nothing. That is pretending in some way. It might not be an absolute way to pretend that can be placed that God is pretending another person, but it's another way to look at it, if you know what I mean now, okay? But the bottom line is, all along, when God finally comes through for you, over a situation that has been tormenting you, be rest assured, he is done pretending. He is done watching you suffer. He is done watching and waiting for the right moment where it can go off. Now, when he says he wants to deal with your enemies, he is done pretending. He gets angry, saying, no, 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 no. Now get out. I'm putting David as king. Now the Lord says, get out and he's putting you as king in that position, in that job, in that blessing. It's all yours. The enemy won't do anything. I pray over you that anything that was a torment over your life, no more. The Lord is setting you free in Jesus' name. Amen. And of course, you can now text me on WhatsApp to book a consultation as well. Just check my Details in the comment section below. See you next time.